What's going on? Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new to the page, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. Um, as you're going to want to stay up to date with what we're doing here. March Madness is in full swing now. We were on Grambling State earlier, so we cashed that one there. We did not cash the free pick. I'm actually very upset about that Boise State game. I thought that was a game. Um, they had a great opportunity to win. 19 offensive rebounds. It seemed like they just could not make a layup there. 37% from two-point range for them is what turned to be uh, what turned out to be exactly um, what I expected, a low-scoring affair, which really favored Boise State. Um, they just couldn't seem to make a layup right at the basket several times, multiple two, three, four, five attempts. They couldn't really get it in, um, and they weren't getting to the free-throw line either. So very tough loss there. We did have Bradley in the NIT, and we cashed that one. So we want to try to come here today and have another strong day um, overall, or a better day, should I say. All right, $9.99 for the day pass. $49.99 will get you all of college basketball, NIT, CBI, and March Madness as well. So we're going to have a nice slate here today. So let's look at a matchup at 430 here. We see Nevada Wolfpack going out to Utah to face the Dayton Flyers. And this should be an awesome matchup. Two teams that are very similar here. Um, both have a lot of experience. Um, both can knock down threes, but this Dayton team really likes to launch threes. That's where they're going to get the most of their points there. Almost 39, 40% of their points come from three-point range, and they tend to give up a lot of threes as well, although they are uh, one of the better teams at defending the three-point line. Almost 32% they allow from three here this season. So um, the man for them will be Deron Holmes. In the middle, they have Kobe and Kobe, <laughs> who can shoot it very well from three. They have three guys that are shooting it, three to four guys that are shooting it extremely well. Um, from three point range and uh, three out of the four guys have shot they have over 100 attempts um, from three so that lets you know uh, the amount of volume that you're getting from three point range for this Dayton to state and Flyers team coming from the A-10 there so um, they are one and a half point dogs here in this matchup uh, the over under came in at 138 and a half it's now moving down to 136 and a half here in this matchup and I like Nevada here in this one um, I'm really concerned about the depth um, of this Dayton team. Now, they don't typically play at a very fast pace. Um, neither does Nevada. Um, but when you're coming into altitude now and you're a team who relies so much on three, it's it's very concerning. Um, we've seen that with some of the teams they played earlier this year with, with uh, them playing VCU and Leola Chicago. Um, and sometimes they get in these low scoring affairs where they're in the 60s, they're in the 70s. They're, there's a few games they had, they were in the 40s here um, this year because three point ball uh, just wasn't falling. Four for 17 when they played VCU there in that matchup. They only went nine of 18 from the free throw line, 43% from the two. Um, so you really have to be concerned about them trying to get downhill. We're on the side of Nevada. Um, they like to get downhill. They're one of the best teams in the country at getting to the free throw line. Um, they get there at an extremely high clip, and they cash in most of their free throws, 72% on the year. Um, they still have the ability to shoot it from three, 36% from three, almost 30, almost 53% from two-point range. So it's a very balanced attack here offensively and defensively. They're in the top 40 in adjusted defensive efficiency here, um, and they're very familiar with playing in Utah with them being in the Mountain West. They obviously play Utah State. Um, they play out there in UNLV, obviously in Vegas, with them being in Nevada as well. Um, so they're used to playing at altitude. They play Colorado State. Um, so there's nothing that they're not familiar with here. So it'll be interesting to see how Dayton will adjust here in this matchup. Um, and then they have the head coaching advantage where we see um, the head coach here for Nevada has been here for a little bit of time now. Steve Alford, they made the tournament last year and got embarrassed there by uh, Arizona State. <clears throat> 98 to 73 they got beat up last year so i'm sure they're going to be licking their chops ready to get back into it this year and get a victory um, he's been to the tournament a ton of times um, he's 11 and 12 here in, in tournament play um, where we see anthony grant here just bringing dayton to the uh, tournament for the first time here since he's been to dayton he's only had uh, four games of march madness experience and he's one in three so far so still relatively new for him um, on the coaching end where we see another coach who's been in the game for 29 years they obviously have the head coaching advantage they have the venue advantage um, and I believe they have the team advantage as well as so they're much more balanced offensively and they're a much better defensive team overall I like Nevada here in this matchup I'm going to lay them uh, I'm going to take them on the money line I'm going to lay the dollar 20 as the official free pick of the day let me know if you agree you disagree 
whatever the case may be. Let me know your favorite pick of the day. There's a lot of games going to be going off here today, starting at noon, I believe. So my card will be up. It's already 12, almost 1230 here on the East Coast. My card will be up and ready to go here by 1 a.m. I uh, want to try to get that up and loaded to you guys just so we can have a successful day here today. $9.99. All right. It's Double D. Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tail. But either way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good luck.